episode with a little bit of TV talk by our, go- by our guy, Ty Ty. Uh, Todd, take it away. What up? All right. So I decided we, I, I want to kind of talk about TV shows for a little bit. I wasn't really sure how to kind of talk about on this podcast, but um, the, the way I kind of asked, asked the boys was kind of a, a TV show that they feel is underrated or a show that they are watching that they kind of want everyone else to watch. Uh, so you're, you're, you're kind of going to, we're kind of kind of sell you on, on the show that we're going to talk about. Um, so we're kind of going to go around the horn and everyone's going to talk about their favorite TV show um, that they feel like you guys should also take, take a look at. So um, let's start off with James. What do you got? So you asked me to find an underrated TV show. This TV show is fantastic. And I consider it underrated because it's only on Apple TV, not anywhere else. So the TV show that I'm a huge fan of right now is Ted Lasso. That TV show is hilarious. I'm laughing probably every 30 seconds, give or take. I might have peed once or twice because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> <Wow>. uh, <laughs> it's so great. It's just subtle humor. The guys, the actor is amazing. Full disclosure, I've only watched three episodes so far, but I love every single second of it. So therefore, I'm, I'm all about it, right? A little quick synopsis about what this TV show is all about. It's about a coach, a coach who coached an American football team to a Division II championship, I believe, and all of a sudden gets hired on to coach a Premier League soccer team in Europe. This guy has never, ever, ever done anything soccer related before, but now all of a sudden he's in charge of a Premier League team, who, a team that's about to face relegation, which means going back to the other, or the uh, Premier League B side. Uh, but anyway, it's a, just a story about how he brings everybody together and makes everything work and develops chemistry among players and teaches lessons. And the really cool thing about it is as the story goes on, as the episodes go on, you start to feel for the coach, Ted Lasso, and you just, you're rooting for him. Every single episode that goes by, you're like, I love this man. Like this guy, I want to be on his team because he's such a great coach. He may not know anything about the sport but it's all about making the person and the athlete a better person when he's leaving. It's not necessarily about wins or losses because there's a quote in there. It's like, you can win some games, but still lose. And you can lose some games, but still win. And that's really honestly about if you're becoming a better man or a better person outside of the game. It's not always about soccer. It's not always about sports. It's more about life. And that's why I enjoy it. Stupid question. Um, Is this any way like kind of based on any kind of true events or is this completely like fake? As I'm three episodes in, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find that out in season two. <laughs> uh, is there a season two? I have no idea. <laughs> it is. Uh, okay. From someone that has finished the whole thing, I agree with you, James. The show is phenomenal. Trading, I'm 95% sure that's not based off of true events. I mean, I feel like we would have heard about that, you know, like that's Probably. pretty wild. Um, but yeah, it's the show's great. It's great. Nice. Yeah, I have Everybody not should get it. Apple TV and watch it. Yeah, I've not seen it, but I have gr- heard great things. You're probably the third or fourth person that has spoken very highly of the show. So that is one I need to need to start watching. Uh, trade in. What show do you got for us? Yeah. So I have to back my, back up James's like feel good one with a pretty dark one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a huge TV guy. It's not it's not my hobby, um, but, you know, I had to pick one. And, and this is one that I have seen a little bit of. And, and I'm really interested in actually sitting down and actually, you know, watching it again and getting really engaged. Um, but that'd be The Handmaid's Tale. It's on uh, Hulu. They currently have three seasons. Um, the fourth is set to premiere here here in 2021. Um, again, I haven't seen a lot of this show, um, but you know, if Kylie can invest the same time with me, we're going to watch it. Um, but I will say before I get into it, 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 it's very, it's very heavy and has a lot of heavy content. So it might not be for, uh, it, the faint of heart. Um, the Handmaid's Tale is a deep and at times disturbing television show based off a, based off a 1985 novel of the same name, um, by a Canadian author, Margaret Atwood. The plot takes place in a dystopian United States society following the second American Civil War, where a totalitarian uh, society subjects um, fertile women to like a childbearing slavery thing. Um, The world fertility rates have collapsed as a result of widespread STIs, environmental pollution, and this totalitarian government leading, you know, a militarized hierarchy of, you know, classes. Um, the women in this show are forced to work in very limited roles and the fertile women are enslaved to help the population stay intact. The show follows June Osborne as she struggles with the realities of being a handmaid, which is one of the enslaved um, women, 
and her attempt to reunite with her family in, in Canada, who kind of have fled her daughter and her son, or I'm sorry, her uh, husband. Um, the show's main theme is the presence and manipulation of power and that and how this dictatorship imposes it on the on the masses. Uh, you know, it's something that really kind of, unfortunately, it engages you, but and, and it makes you really think about, you know, society as a whole in, 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 a, in, in like a totalitarian, you know, uh, situation completely different than what we see here in the United States. Um, it has a lot of genre and some horror in a sense. I mean, it's not like, like jump scares, but it's something that is horror from, from just a, a human humanistic standpoint. It's very engaging. And, um, if you can handle it, I think, I think it's a show that, you know, is, is pretty intense and, and, uh, it's a good watch. Awesome. Yeah, that's another an, an, another good one. I've heard good things about. That's one reason why I wanted to do this. So I could see what you guys recommend for me to watch. <laughs> uh, Alex, what do you got? Yeah, so my show, I think, is the only one out of the, the ones that we picked that is not currently still airing new episodes. Um, so it's Psych. It was on USA from, wait for it, like in the mid-2000s, uh, 2005 to 2014, uh, it follows a duo, uh, Sean and Gus. Uh, also, Gus is who uh, the character is what I named my dog after. So that's also a big shout out to my to my little pup. Um, so sh- it kind of follows Sean. Uh, he's a uh, kind of a screw up, and then but he ha- his dad was a cop, and his his dad taught him to have extremely in depth and um, observation skills, and then he uses that to trick the police uh, into thinking that he's a psychic, and then he helps them solve cases. Uh, it's funny. It's witty. It can be really heartfelt. It'll it'll be a tearjerker at some points. Um, also, I just got to give a shout out to my boy Matt Murphy. Uh, he and I used to watch the show together all the time. We get really drunk and then we make Tyler drive us Domino's. Great times. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to give a shout out to my boy Matt and thank you Tyler for driving us Domino's all the time. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, Psych is uh, you know one of my top five top five shows of all time. That Desert Island show. Um, I'd rewatch it all the time. Um, it's on Prime Video, um, but you can find it kind of all over the place. Um, I know James, you said that you were oh, you were happy with my pick. Yeah, it's oh, great. Great show. Great show. Question for I you, real fast though. Yes, I have a couple questions actually. What yeah. is their obsession with pineapples? Like, why is there a pineapple in like every episode? Dude, I don't know, but it is funny. Yeah, because there's a pineapple in every episode, and sometimes it's blatantly obvious. Like they'll come in like bearing a pineapple as a gift. And then yeah. other times it's like a minor character is wearing a shirt that has like one pineapple like as its logo. No idea. I think it's just the creators probably thought it was funny and that's their like that's their. That's thing. the reason why I love pineapple. Look it up. Fun fact. I'm gonna have yeah. I'm gonna have to look it up. <laughs> I don't know for sure. My second question though. Um, so, the actors that play Sean and Juliet, yeah. they got married, didn't they? Are they still together? No, like they, real life. They did. Were they just so they did date for like a while. I just looked this up. This is really funny. They did date for a while. And then I guess they broke up right before the last season, but didn't oh. tell like the entire cast and crew because they thought everyone would be awkward and they would like, and they played it off totally well. And that last season you have, you could have no idea. They still have great chemistry together, um, but I don't think they're together anymore now. Damn, that's sad. Stuff. Yeah. But yeah, psych, great show. They pulled a real psych on the on the casting crew there, didn't they? Nice, nailed it. Wow, God, I, I yeah. hate you so much. Got wow. him, got him. Just, you yeah. should just stop with your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I definitely remember you and Matt watching Psych all the time, and the, the few episodes that I have seen are me walking on you and Matt yeah. watching it together. So it was uh, real, <laughs> oh, real, real weird. <laughs> it's a weird pause <laughs> when you said that, by the way. Yeah, I don't know yeah. why you had to say it like that, but Matt, you know what? Yeah. I still love you, bud. So. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> oh, man. Matt will understand. Yeah. Um, all right. So the show that I picked for you guys to watch is a show called Vikings. Um, it's one of my favorite shows. Um, so r- real quick s- synopsis on the show. Vikings is inspired by the sagas of Viking Ragnar Lothbrook. One of the best known legendary Norse heroes and notorious as ra- of raids of England and France. The show portrays Ragnar as a farmer who, ri- who rises to fame by raiding England and eventually becomes a Scandinavian king with the support of his family and fellow warriors. In the later seasons, the series follows the, f- the fortunes of his sons and their adventures in England, Scandinavia, Ukraine, the Mediterranean, and North America. So more or less, it's a show about Vikings, so the show is aptly named. Um, so it, it first aired in 2013 on the History Channel. 
Um, it is, is currently in its final season, which just released on Amazon Prime uh, last week. I haven't gotten to watch it yet because I've been too busy with the movie and everything. I'm definitely going to start watching that. Um, so six total seasons, um, uh, 89 episodes total. Um, as I mentioned, the, the final season, you can watch all seasons on Amazon Prime. Um, you can also watch all other seasons except for this current one on Hulu as well. Um, so episodes four and six are 20 episodes each split into two parts. So it's kind of like uh, 10 episodes, part one, season four, 10 episodes, part two, season four. So it's kind of a confusing one towards the end there, but that's kind of how they split it up. Um, so yeah, this, 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 sh the, the reason why I like this show, um, at first it was like my Game of Thrones withdrawal medication. Um, it kind of has a similar feel at first, but then when you kind of watch the show, it really is nothing like Game of Thrones other than the fact that they, they fight with, sword, with swords and axes and stuff. Um, it's very, very different from, from that show. Um, not all events in that show are historically accurate, even though it kind of portrays it as, a, as a historically accurate. Um, but you do learn a lot about Viking culture and religion, which is super fascinating. That stuff's pretty accurate in, in, in the show. Uh, it's, it's very character driven. I think the acting in this show is fantastic. I, I really, really enjoy it. All, just every character is, I think, does a great job. Um, I think the first three or four seasons are insanely good. I, you know, there's been kind of up and downs in terms of what the last few seasons have been. I still think they're very good. Not as good as the first few, but still very, very watchable. Uh, it's, it's a quite a violent show. As you, if you know anything about Vikings, they're very, very, very violent. Um, but it also has great stories of Viking adventures and heroes. And for me, it's a joy to watch. Um, I love it. And I just feel like no one really talks about it. Um, I don't really know anyone else that I've, I've never talked to anyone that has been like, oh, I, I love that show. And I, I watch that show too. Um, but it's definitely one of my favorites. It actually is it's 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. So it's pretty uh, well re re received overall. Um, so I think it should get more attention. So if, if you have Amazon Prime, if you have a Hulu account, go check out Vikings. I think it'll be uh, worth your while. Um, so that wraps up my TV show segment. Uh, hopefully you guys can send us some of your recommendations on shows that you would like us to watch. Um, you, other than that, that, that's all I got. Quick question. So yeah. you said it's like Game of Thrones. I'm yeah. assuming there's less nudity, right? It's, because it was on History it's Channel. Less, 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 channel less bibs. It's as close to as nudity as you can get with actually showing nudity. If mm. That makes sense. So there still are a lot. Way of less emotions. interested now. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there still definitely is the the sexual part of the show, which is not as obvious and is not as uh, graphic as Game of Thrones is. In your face. Yeah. Yeah. But it's as <laughs> close it. as you can get. Got it. Okay. Being on cable. Okay. Cool. 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 I yeah. think uh, we'll have to next episode. Uh, we'll have to ask Eric what his recommendations are too. We'll have to get them in there real quick. Yeah, uh, so we can hear because I'm sure I'm sure Eric pulls some deep, oh, deep yeah. dives. I'm sure there's something crazy going on <laughs> in that guy's brain.